I love keeping an eye out for opportunities in the area, and when this popped up, I had to have it. Free, single wide, must go, no holds, first come, I can't deliver, move it yourself, you must bring your own tires, you must have a 350 truck. Hmm, okay. We were there in minutes. Now, I've been in this situation many times, and when someone lists something for free, they get a lot of people reaching out to them, giving them offers. So the first thing I did was I gave her $100, and I said, I'm serious about this. I will have it out of your hands within 24 hours, listed as sold. And she did, and that made sure that I secured it, so that way if anybody else reached out to her, it's already gone in her mind. If it was still free, she might be open to accepting offers from other buyers. First I need to get tires, and then I need to get a tow truck, and it's New Year's Eve. I first went to a nearby tire shop, and guess what? They had the right rim, but they didn't have any of the four tires. So then I began to frantically call around everywhere. Nobody had them, except for one guy selling them on Craigslist. I went to his house, picked them up, found out they were the right size, and put them on there. The next challenge is the location. They placed a manufactured home and then they built a ton of things around it. So it was very hard, nearly impossible to get out. I called the first tow truck driver no and he said, way. no way. I called the next guy, he came out there and still couldn't do it. He called one of his friends and long behold, <laughs> we got it out. Now the funny part is on the way out, we punctured one of our tires really badly. Thank God I already had made a relationship with the tire shop because New Year's wow. Eve at 8 p.m we showed up in the middle of the street for them to repair our tires. Now this looked like something on a NASCAR. I'm telling you, the pit crew came out, they adjusted all the tires, popped it up. We're right in the middle of a main street. We had to close it down. We didn't have permits, I shouldn't say that. We had a lot of challenges in front of us, but guess what? We got it to our place. So what the heck did we get for a hundred bucks? Well, this place was sick. It had a really nice kitchen, it had a full bath, it had a separate bedroom. It was awesome. It even had things like a water heater. Now bread not fed like me Did it by myself, don't you see? Messing with a low wolf, low wolf You got a low wolf, low wolf I'll chase, I'll hunt, I'll eat Did it by myself, don't you see? To the dark, I'm not afraid. May 4th of 8th grade, I said your name in the mirror. Bloody Mary, come here. Said three times real clear. I kept the knife real near. Cut throat, then hands, then hair. So scared she disappeared. Oh, cookies and baked goods. Little Red Riding Hood about to get shook. Say hello to the big bad wolf. Who huffs and puffs and blows it down. Who's rough and tough and ready now. Who's King Kong of every town. Who sings loud in every crowd. Habits gone. All right, there's cops right now over there. Don't know what's going on. But welcome. We have now ran extension cables. Come on over here, let's show them what's going on inside. Our goal today is just to touch up the ceiling. We've got some rain coming here soon. We've already put down the plaster on the top to make sure that it's gonna be more waterproof. Sure. This is gonna be the first thing we need to do. We're gonna have my saw presses on here to make this easiest. We have the studs already right here. So we're gonna get out the tool and we're gonna cut right along this stud. Not all the way past it, because we wanna keep this side that has it, so we wanna take about half of it. We'll go across down to about here. We'll cut across and we're gonna try and make this a much cleaner little rectangle first. So this is our big, really the only area that needs to get touched up. Um, after that, then I wanna start taking from the drywall, we're gonna put the tape along all these areas and figuring out whether they need some extra screws, 
um, what's really going on with this stuff, you know? Because we want to cover all these areas, including this, all the areas that are out, all the sides right here. You know, we want to first put these up against it as tight as we can, seal it, because that way when we're going to paint in here, we need to be back to uniform. We can't look this way. You can't have, come over here. This, see this gap side over here? You can't have any of that. You know, just some more compound. Yeah. You can see it from here. That? Yeah. Yeah, so we need to reinforce everything. Just get it ready for the next step. But it's not, not too bad, it just needs a little bit of love. Make it way down. The restroom. If you take a look here, you can yeah, see. Yeah, look at the floor. Get a, you have a light or no? No. Ooh. That's definite water damage right there. Yep. Makes me a little more worried though because that tells me that there could be a leak in this. Mm -hmm. 